Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? Let me know in the comments. I want to hear from you. I played in the shop yesterday. M wasn't here. Um, she was hanging out with friends. So I had some time and I want to get this box project done. Uh, um, I came down here this weekend and worked on it, which was really cool because I haven't really used tools in a while. It's been like months since I've been down here really, really working. And I glued up some cherry panels. I decided that I was going to clad this box in cherry. If you haven't seen the box before, here it is. I started this box last summer. It's quarter inch, like, crappy plywood with with walnut trim. And the idea was always that I was going to make it out of the little plywood for ease of construction. Um, and then I would clad this. I would basically build a box around this. That was the idea. And then I realized I have no, no clue how to do that. And then I started to kind of panic about it because I can't really just glue stuff to it. It'll tear itself apart, seasonal movement, yada, yada, yada. And eventually I just got to the point where I said, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to do it that way. Because it's a pencil box for my kid. And if it breaks, I'll fix it. And if it sucks, I'll fix it. And if I have to, I'll make another one. And I'll do it better next time. What I would do next time, probably, instead of using the plywood, is, you know, I made my own... This is more like three eighths material, but I made my own plywood pan or you know cherry solid cherry panels. I'll do that instead of using plywood, and then I won't have to worry about cladding the box. But I'm gonna do it. So I made these. Got all excited for it. I cut myself a little dado in the back to receive the back piece. It'll kind of sit in there, not currently, but it will. Um. And then I went to cut a 45. The plan was to miter the the corners here and here and then the bottoms. And I went to do that, but I my sled that I made last year or the year before, the fence on the sled is bowed. And I need to take it off. I think I used a 2x4 or something. I need to just take that off and use plywood and make a flat accurate fence so I tried to cut this 45 with just a miter gauge on a table saw just like pushing it through the problem is that I discovered is I can't cut a straight line like that like trying to hold the piece against the miter gauge itself and then push all of that through the saw means that the the board would kind of shift to the right and so my cuts would end up these really super crooked cuts and it really frustrated me and bothered me so last night I came home and I made myself a panel cutting sled, which is essentially a sled that's just turned around backwards. And I used it to true up these guys and add basically a uh, little section here on the side. This is just glued in grain to face grain. It's probably going to break someday. If you listen to conventional wisdom, this thing's going to just explode as soon as it gets some moisture. We'll see. Um, that's what I'm dealing with. That's what I have right now. That's how I know how to fix this. So I'm going to fix it that way. Even though um, any serious woodworker would tell you that I'm doing it wrong. But it's going to be done. And I'm excited to work on other projects. My, you know, Keely's asked me to make her a trophy shelf. M's asked me to make her a shoe bench. I mean, I have a lot of other projects I want to do. And this one is holding me up. This one is, I've told myself I'm not allowed to do that, anything else, until I get this done. To the point that we've been, we've been talking about me trying woodcut. I made myself a bench hook yesterday. A bench hook essentially just hooks over the edge of the table. And then whatever piece of wood I'm carving can sit on here. And then when I carve, it can't, you know, it can't slip away from me because it's hooked on the table. Which means I don't have to have my hand in front of the tool 
as I'm cutting. That's important. So I did make myself a bench hook. I printed off my first carving, which um, I'll try to remember to put it up here, but I probably won't. If you look on my Instagram, a couple days ago, I did a picture of a, like a silhouette of a raven in a tree. That's probably going to be my first attempt at woodblock carving. So I printed off some of those to try because I'm going to try to do... Um, I'm not necessarily going to do different colors, but I am going to do probably a couple of different versions of the same print where I mess with the bark and stuff. So I made a bench hook, but I've not... I'm, I told myself I'm not allowed to work on anything else until this box is done. It needs to be done. That's what I'm going to do right now. So thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I will see you tomorrow. The word of the day today is acrimonious. It's an adjective meaning angry, bitter, or disputed. There is something about the literary life that repels me. All this desperate building of castles on cobwebs. The long-drawn acrimonious struggle to make something important which we all know will be gone forever in a few years. That is a quote from Raymond Chandler, an American author. Acrimonious. A-C-R-I-M-O-N-I-O-U-S.